My name is Michael Mohr. I've been with DNSE for four years. We do electrical overload and lighting protection. Before I took over the management of the process planning, I was a consultant for assembly station design and ergonomics. In factory planning, we design our layout, copy it into VR, and together with our collaborators, we look at the layout and discuss change requests. The employees can rearrange containers, where's the pallet, where's the packaging material, all these things can be experienced much more realistically in VR than in 2D. The most important part from my point of view is the use of VR in assembly process planning, because the assembly processes are actually carried out with your hands. Through this process we are able to integrate the employees into the planning process, which is very important to me personally, simply because the acceptance afterwards is much greater to accept changes that may arise. Especially now, when more and more screens are coming to the workplace, the ergonomics check is excellent to redesign the arrangement of the screens. Another aspect is that you can experience yourself in the different percentiles. This has the purpose that a tall man, for example, who does not understand at all why this reaching height might not be adequate, this man can also experience being the short woman, for example, and can assemble from the short woman's point of view. Before, we tried to communicate our ideas to the designer via PowerPoint, and the designer translated them into CAD. Today we meet in the Industrial Engineering Lab, we import the CAD file onto the VR goggles, everybody can take a look at the layout or interact with the object and work on it, in order to give his or her feedback. That then goes into the further development of the designer, who gets concrete feedback what the next modification steps should look like. Number one, we are a lot quicker. Time to market is a fitting keyword here. Number two, we are more efficient, meaning the planning process has become much more efficient. Number three, changes that we make are coordinated within the team. All affected parties are involved. And number four, and this is very important, we are able to reduce meeting times. I have to say, this has accelerated our process a lot.